Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the world's smallest game of murder sin. I need a couple of boiling glands. Cause if I get it, then eventually I can make this bad boy. And if there's one thing I love, it's sweet, sweet damage. Now if memory serves, I'm fairly confident boiling glands come from those little bomb beetles. Which means they're these red cubes. Gosh, the resource surveyor is really handy. Just who I wanted to see. Come here, friend. You down for a little murder fest? Just, okay, well, uh, yeah, fitting to the name of bomb, huh? Can you just get stabbed? I feel like if I could get a decent critical hit chance on you, you would die much easier. Ah, died all the same. One boiling gland, down. Just a couple more to go. Target spotted. Hey, quit running. Eat this. Yeah, <laughs> give me that back though. I need that to poke you. This works out great. Oh my gosh, I can essentially do like all of their health in just one quick little stamina rush. This is, I love this. This thing rocks. Gimme. Man, I didn't get a boiling gland. This sucks. I do remember there being a bunch of beetles over by the hedge, so it's just one very long run, but we'll get there. And there's just a dead one right here. Can I please get the gland? Yeah, there's a lot going on right here, so I'll just keep shooting this guy. Oh, okay. Uh, suddenly everything's mad at me, huh? Fine, looks like I'll just kill everything then. Eat this, you stupid overgrown beetle. Eesh, no manners on anything. Ooh, but I did get another boiling gland. All right, play ball. Why are they running away from me? They're actively not trying to fight me. I don't, I don't get it. I came for a brawl, not a run fest, you freaking jerks. A good old fashioned shootout, dang it. Okay, now we're talking. This is what I want to see. Wait, one of you's almost dead? Can I manage to get the kill on whichever one's almost dead, please? Game? Oh, well, that guy's dead now. Gimme. And not a boiling gland. All right. Oh, I am very low health. I need to make sure I don't get hit by this guy's goop. That's fine. I can do that pretty easily. He's dead. Give me this. No boiling gland. All right. How about you, buddy? Want to give me one? Yes. I think I need four boiling glands for an oven. Where's another beetle? Or did I kill them all? I'm also not realizing that I've gotten myself very, very wounded. Fine. Just means I need to not get hit fighting this next one. Easy enough. Can I? Okay. Well, the lawn might hit me. That's... Oh, well, you should die. Thank you. This is fine. The lawn might's attacking the beetle because he's stupid and they don't realize that I'm the biggest threat here. Beetle, die. Thank you. What? How'd you survive that? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. That's dead, though. Please, please. Yes, a... You've got to be kidding me. I died to a lawn mite. Oh, that's just embarrassing. But I got a fourth boiling gland. Time to just... Go grab my backpack. <laughs> Two hours later. Oh, finally. All right, boiling glands in. Next, give me my clay, cause this makes a full oven. Now it looks like I just need a lot of salt shards and I happen to have six right here. Uh, go ahead. Oh, that only makes one glob? And it takes a while. How many globs do I need for the morning star? Two? It looks like I need six more pieces of salt, which can only mean one thing. First things first, this plate sometimes has a shard on it. Didn't get as lucky on this one. Oh wait, yeah we did. Wow, three for three? I'm starting to think maybe the game wants me to have these salt shards. But of course, the only other spot is right over here in the sandbox. Occasionally they spawn in the antlion's tunnels, so we just have to kill some more of these guys. I've gotten pretty good at it. Wait, how did you even get up here? Just fine, take this, you overgrown wannabe ant. I really need to preserve my stinger because it's about to break, so taking a new approach of just backtracking like that. Nice. Oh, probably would help if I didn't accidentally throw my freaking weapon too. Okay, where'd that end up? Over here? Hello? Spear? There you are. And now to go through this again. No, I'm out of arrows. All right, eat this, idiot. Eh, it's just fun to throw this thing sometimes. <laughs> oh wait, forgot I have this spider dagger I could also be using. The moment I just wait for this guy to pop up, there it is. Punch, 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 punch. Not a ton of damage, but I'm fairly confident the poison's gonna kick in here any second now. Did it, did it kick in? I can't really tell. Whatever, I'll just keep beating him up like this. It kinda feels like bullying. Just give it up, you stupid wannabe fighter. Thank you. Man, eh, it's not even salt down here. It's okay, this guy's sure to have salt shards. Can I just, oh, why were there two of you in here? Oh no, and he's gonna try and drag me in. This fight got a little tricky. All right, I'll kill you first, and I'm moving on to your friend. Hope that's fine with you. I don't think he's gonna have an issue with it. Next. You stupid, where did all this health just come from that you just got back? Oh, uh, well, this isn't good. I'm not gonna be able to run away from this guy because he just breaks my legs and traps me in here, so it's a non-stop fest of blocking and swinging. Just fine, just right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. <laughs> 
It's actually kind of fun. Hang on. Mora, 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 mora. I need the venom of this thing to be 18 times more destructive than what it actually is. Low health. I still have like half my health left. And he has none of his. So I feel like I have to be doing better than him at least. Please, game. I'm begging you a crumb of salt. Oh my gosh. Just die already. This takes so many hits with my tiny little baby dagger that doesn't poison anyone for some reason. Gosh. Wait, I think that's what I think it is. Oh, and there's another one here. Yes, there's salt clusters. Give me. Wow, and another one? There's a ton of them in here. I just found the holy grail of salt. Oh, it never ends. Wouldn't it be much cooler if you just gave up early? Save everyone some time? At least I think that'd be much cooler. Looks like I'm the only one of us who did, though. Get out of my face. Thank you. The crusty roly-poly breastplate? Okay. I'm sorry, am I just finding armor in here, too? Oh, is this like the red ant dungeon? But with, you know, big ol' antlion jerks? Yeah, this extends for a while, huh? Oh, never mind. I see the end. Let me just get all the salt before I get out of here. I think there's one more fight. No? Thank God. Well, 43 rock salt later. Time to go ahead and get on out of this thing. Oh, home sweet home with a nice mission accomplished. And one glob is complete. Go ahead and craft me the rest. <laughs> Oh, that's really gonna take a while. Today, game, analyze my crusty roly-poly breastplate, if you don't mind. Just free raw science? Cool. It's, uh, not quite as good as my antlion poncho as far as defense terms, but I think if I block, I get a longer stun off of them. Very much so, something to consider. Wait, it's done. Yes, give me it. Oh, Salt Morning Star, my tier three weapon. Welcome to my sweet, sweet inventory. And now welcome to my sweet, sweet hand. Hmm. This attacks decently fast. It's a little three hit. That works. Can I upgrade it with just Quartzite? Yes. I want to see how much damage it does right now, though. Hey, you, Black Ant, come here. Let's go ahead and turn my Barbarian mutation on and then start smacking. How much? So that's about half of its life. Oh, and he got stunned. Wow, that's just really good, huh? Well, there you go. All right. Well, that's it at its very, very base form. Now it'll play the fun game of leveling it up all the way to level four. I'm just a little bit of Quartzite short, but it does 20% more damage. Something, come here. You, Mr. Ant, you got time for a quick interview? Hey, buddy. All right, hang on to this for me. And there's half your life. And one, and two, and dead. Perfect. Ow, another ant hit me over here. Here, you get stunned now. Hang on. Just just give me a sec. Yep. Hold up. And wow. Why do I feel like I just got a very, very good weapon? Also realizing that I can just make mushroom slurry. Going to assume that's a better food source. And hope. Now to just go hunt down a bunch more quartzite. Oh, no. My glider broke. All right, try that one again. So means I gotta take the stairs this time. Before I go and get more quartzite, I just remembered something. Okay, well, first off, I just found a whole bunch of quartzite, so never mind, I'll get that. But hey, no, stop, no, my weapon. This is so awkward. How did you come down here and do that again? Wait, better yet, just die. You don't know, there's a gigantic vein of quartzite that spawns here. I will be using this a ton in the future. Wow, 71 quartzite right there, huh? All right, game on. Stupid larva, just get hit. Get hit. Smash. Okay, so he's... How long does this stun last? Long enough for me to recharge it and start hitting his buddy. Okay, yeah, this is good. Crow feather piece. I think that's everything. You're dead. Well, I was gonna go somewhere before I got that quartzite, but sometimes you fall in a hole that has exactly what you need. All right, anyways, maxed out thingy. What do I need next? Quartzite glob? How do I make those? Do I just throw you into the oven? Can I do that? Nope. No. Gosh dang it. I also finished my slurry, which I assume gives me a ton of food. No. <gasps> I'm sorry, what do I do with this then? I can... Hmm. So I just wasted a ton of my mushrooms on this? All right. Game. Analyze. Tell me what I do with this. Nothing. I'm beginning to feel like an idiot. Bright side is though, I can actually go back to upgrading my bow, which is now max level. Downside is I need a little bit more thistle needles. All right, time to go where I was going originally before fate smiled upon me. <laughs> Last time I was here, there was one little section I wasn't able to do, but now I know I can break through these roots with the dagger that I have. Thank you. I'm sorry, what is this? Water spiders? Okay. This might be above my pay grade slightly. Although it looks like if I kill them, I get oxygen back. I don't think that makes sense, but I'll take it. How deep does this thing go? Oh, please tell me this is the end. Yes, or at least it's a room where I can get oxygen back. Man, I really wish I knew what was in store for me here. Oh, these things are so freaky. What are these, water fleas? Gross. Ow, 
What was that damage? Too much is what it was. Oh, they're dead now. They make such weird noises. I don't like that. Also, I wish I could attack faster. Thank you. Dead, dead. Wait. No way. This is just that broken pipe? Okay, well, let me turn back then. Come all this way to explore a secret and it's just a stupid little water flea area? Come on. I refuse to accept that. Hi, you gross exploding fungus, which just so happened to be my nickname in high school. Hmm. If there's not an air pocket up here, I think I'm going to die. Let me actually swim back and rebreathe. Gosh, maybe I should have made that thing that let me breathe underwater for longer. Is there a mutation for that, actually? All right, go, 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 go. Dodge the water fleas, they're gross. Hmm. I'm uh, past the point of no return now, where if there's not a pocket of air up here, I die. <gasps> Wait, diving bell spider. Yes, you're what I need to see. As long as I can kill this thing, I believe. Yes, I just got some oxygen. Perfect. Break, break, break. Raw science, mega milk molar. Okay, cool. Do I still die? Do I get air back if I kill these things? No. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, this is about to be a process now, isn't it? Time to go get that back. Operation Search and Rescue is a go. No one really likes underwater levels anyways. All right, give me my stuff. Come on. If we're timing this right, I'm not actually confident I make it out of here with enough air. I hate this game. <laughs> Please, no! All right, one more time. Give me my freaking items back. No time to get out of here with these. Stupid freaking water. Research station, I've got new things. Water flea meat for decoy bait and liquid gills. Hang on. I thought that was gonna be useless. How about these diving bell spider chunks? Oh, useless. <laughs> you really reversed my expectations there, game. So if I just throw three water flea meat in my little smoothie station, it gives me a little goop thing I can drink. I don't feel like I have water gills. Figuring that out is above my pay grade. How do you think this thing goes against a wolf spider? I just so happen to know where one's at. Now that I think about it, I kind of need to explore this entire upper area too, don't I? Good thing I have just a tier three weapon in my right hand now, isn't it? Hmm, two wolf spiders? I'll just shoot one and draw it over. I kind of wanted to test out how much bow damage I do anyways. This feels like a good little amount. My turn, I said my turn. Okay, yeah, that's, look at the just solid chunk. As long as I can get the perfect parry off and then just start wailing in. Oh, and he's stunned. Yep, that's mm, full death. Delicious. Uh, I got a word that uh, myth or didn't. That's too many letters. <laughs> it's an immunity to poison. <laughs> yeah, that feels good. Your turn, Wolf. Hey, buddy. You want to do a little attack? Parried. Thank you. My turn to start wailing. Did I get the stun? Oh, I didn't. But there we go. Just block that. Ow! What are you doing? What are we- are we posing? I mean, I love a pose off as much as the next guy. Oh, he's stunned! I didn't get the stun that time, though, it looks like. That's fine. Got enough blocks. Oh, wait. I'm out of stamina. No! Blocked! Can I- hello? Get up. Real quick. This is awkward. Oh, that's the parry. Dead! Thank you. Two wolf spiders. One absolute destructive force. Gimme this raw science. Alright, I should probably run home. My health is very, very low. <laughs> Can I help you? Hello? This is my house you're in, and I don't appreciate you being here. Wow, you, okay, thanks for the free fuzz. Gotta be kidding me, another intruder? When will you guys learn to respect some privacy here, huh? Freaking jerk. I was not expecting to have to go on a bee murder spree today. And that was, did I just oko that bee? Stronger than I give myself credit for, I guess. Is this caution tape? What? That feels like a developer thing and not a spot I need to visit anyways. So what's the upper garden look like? You things keep popping up, you're so annoying. Gosh, just die. Stupid freaking jerks. This is definitely illuminating. Threat to- What? You just detected me from all the way- How much health do you have, big guy? Oh dear god. Can't really do anything with me all the way up here, can you, Mr. Black Ox Beetle? This is, uh, definitely not how I was intended to fight this guy. But when it works this well, how could I not? Well, I've got good news and I've got bad news. Bad news being, that was my last arrow. The good news being, I'm pretty confident I can beat his teeth in. Let's dance, you overgrown bug. Have some of this, a little bit of this. This is, this, are you? Hmm, I think I've tamed him. I haven't tamed him, I haven't tamed him. All right, nope, get put down. That's what happens to things that don't listen. Give me your parts. That might be the weakest little mini boss thing I've fought so far. Although I didn't really think about how I'd get out of this hole. Is that another one? Sure, let's actually have a fair fight this time. I'm still gonna weaken you with my bow and arrows though, cause you know, this is fair. I'm, <laughs> I'm just at a spot where you can actually hit me now if you tried hard enough. Although I, I don't think this thing's trying hard enough. 
Is that? Nope. Good try. I'm used to black ants getting thrown at me. A little bit of rocks aren't that different. Oh, what a perfect little block by me. You mind if I just smack you in the head a couple times, buddy? Huh? This is fine. Oh, you smacked me in the head. That's fine. Back to back. Here we go. Here's the trades. This look at the damage that I'm dealing with just pure melee. Oh, you need to die. Wait, final shot. Ready? 360. And you're dead. <laughs> and give me your body. This is not good. I'm being beat up by two ladybird larvas. Well, that one's dead. And then that one's dead. All right, I'm fine. Hmm, well, black ox beetles, really not an issue. Oh, and is that a milk molder? Hang on. Coming down real quick. Free raw science. Free body upgrade. Thank you. Is that another one right there? Yeah, all right, don't mind if I do. Thank you. <laughs> what? Free upgrade, X2? Should really run back to Burgle to... What do you think is in there? Mega Milk Molar. Will greed be my undoing? Maybe. This is put so perfectly for me to just get attacked by some unknown entity. Alright, uh, nothing hatch while I'm breaking this, please. Thank you. And time to run away. Burgle, I'm coming, buddy. Oh, hey, it's this roly-poly again. I feel like it'd be fun to kill this guy again. Shouldn't take that long, either. Die. Thank you. So, uh, just a little bit of a run over there. Burgle, knock knock. Actually, Burgle, while I'm here, let's analyze this black ox part that I got to see I can make the black ox hammer. Tier three hammer, is that what that means? I already have all this. And the black ox horn, which gives me nothing but some more raw science. Cool. Hey Burgle, you wanna upgrade me? For instance, I'll take another max active mutation and then we'll increase max consumable size as well as arrow size. Also, if I get this cookbook, it looks like I can start using larva parts to get stuff. So Yoink. might as well. And a mutation that increases max health. Yes. Why didn't I get those earlier? All right. Max health on. Yeah, something tells me the upgrades. We're just getting started. 